It's another beautiful day for golf. We're at West Richland Golf Course. I got PGA Pro Jeff Bender with me this morning. Good morning. Good to see you, Jeff. Good to see you. Tell me about West Richland Golf Course. All right, we continue our adventure here in Central Washington, and we are at West Richland Golf Course, uh, a storied golf course. If you haven't played it, come out and see it. Uh, you have another godfather in the industry, Dan Clifford. He is the men's and women's head coach, golf coach at CBC, and uh, the stories he can tell, the tournaments he can host. The golf course, you gotta come play it. It's a golf course that in the past would flood. And so the ground comes out almost like a uh, like a Scottish link style golf course. Sure. I'm gonna do it with a tee. Why should I not do it with a tee on this par three? All right, so the question, uh, should I use a tee or not a tee? Right. A, a tee on a par three is perfect. You're on a tee box. You get 18 chances to use a tee on a golf course. Go ahead and use it because it gives you a good lie every time. <clears throat> the the reason some people don't use a tee sure. is because it gives you the opportunity to kind of scoop or lift the ball. You don't do that, so I would highly recommend first swing of the day, put it on a tee. Uh, well, it didn't, it, uh, it's going right it's for the go, hole. It's going. So a couple things about golf. Please, 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 if you can, at least kind of wake up just a few moves that might be necessary so that a lot of my job, not with my junior players, with my adult players, is I'll change their swings to prevent injury, right? So that swing kinda, it hurt me, so next time maybe we'll, we'll do a little, hey, how do we warm this thing up so we don't hurt ourselves? Nice. Okay, so it's still gonna run up, no matter what you did. Now, I gotta, I gotta continue on. All right, my assistant coach, Quentin Parnell, if you need him, find him. Look him up and go to our website and find him. This is his home course. And the, he's gonna love this, because I'll send this, because he taught me a shot out here and you just hit it. Okay. And the members here will love this. And it is called the Chunk and Run. That's all I'm gonna leave for the viewers. If they respond to Cap TV or to Quentin, you just hit a perfect Chunk, chunk and, run. and Run. So it was a bad shot, is what you're saying. The, the members know how to do that because that came out perfect. I hit one here one day and Quentin went, oh, perfect chunk and run. What's a chunk and run? <laughs> Goes, oh no, it hits and it runs. <laughs> oh, it didn't turn. That was perfect. Damn! Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, we're on hole 10, and uh, he's telling me he's going to drive this hole. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's my intention. But 10 is a great swing. Uh, it's a great swing from 9, because uh, you've made it through the front 9, and there's, there's, some, there's some tough holes. Everything's fair out here, right. as you could see. Uh, but now you're to a drivable par 4. And if you walk up to the clubhouse from here, a great food and great, what was the word we used? Uh, uh, libations? Libations. Great libations. Ambiance. Uh, Ambiance. Uh, try it. Come out here and check out West Richland. Well, Sit. It's in the marsh. Sit. All right, I went into, well, the marsh. What do we do? So, in golf, there's two types of hazards. There's a lateral hazard, and lateral hazards typically run parallel to the fairway or to a green okay mm -hmm. so they have red stakes this is now just called a water hazard one you can just go back and re-tee it two you can go find your ball and hit it go yeah. in the hazard just don't ground your club but if you want to hop in that stuff right there and swing at it mm -hmm. i'll see in a little bit or Keeping the spot where the ball last crossed the margin, and this is the margin, so sure. your ball flew in here. Mm -hmm. You can keep that point between you and the hole. A lot of people bring this line of flight thing and they start heading back towards the tee box. No, that's the wrong place, two stroke penalty, don't do that. Okay, so here, if there's, if there's a big X of where you entered, sure. you can now, Jace, you can go back as far as you want that way. Okay, so like towards the practice, you can go back as far as you want, keeping this point between you and the hole. Get up. Maybe. I think 
So Jace, the trend so far is a little bit left, right? Which is where we kind of start things. And so I think if you really focus on that bottom hand and keeping it directed at the target, yep. uh, maybe one might go a little right, but I doubt it. This one should go right at the hole. Okay. Much better, sir. Well, uh, so Jace, I, I pulled it off. I put a drive down here about 280 and um, you get the opportunity where chip this in, roll it up close. Um, again, as you can see, this is a very link style golf course. In worst case scenario, I could, I could putt this, but I wouldn't. So I'm gonna send a low 60 degree somewhere up by the flag. Go, go. You almost hit my ball. I know. <laughs> Jace, you've always been a good reader of greens. So somewhere in here, it'll start turning towards that hole. Okay, here we go. Go, go, go. Oh, that still was... good par. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, if I uh, hit this past the hole, I'm gonna. I learned something over the weekend from Phil Mickelson to, to stop it from going with your putt putter. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> Phil, yes, Phil and in, in our in our uh, film lost. Uh, Phil lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! There you go. Very nice. All right, Jeff. We're on our last hole, and you know, again, I've had a tough round so far. I kind of made it up in the last one, but. How do you keep your head straight when you're kind of at the end of a bad day? How can you make your turnaround? That's a, that's a deep question. So with all great players in all sports, well, even in a workplace, you have to have a mantra of some sort to get you through the day. Mm -hmm. So because our days ebb and flow a great deal, and so you have to calm the storm in the middle. And so in that point, you have to say, no, 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 stay in the moment, eliminate negative self-talk, and do your job. Uh, that made me laugh. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, good speed. Good speed. Yeah. I'm gonna go in. Good par. Boom. Hey, if you're parring holes out here and you've never seen the golf course, you're doing great. There is some good golf out here. This It's easy to get on this golf course. The staff is friendly. Dan is awesome. He's running his junior program right now. He starts, he does a, a summer long program that really supplies West Richland. And I'm gonna shut up and make this putt. <laughs> It's too hard. It's too hard. Darn it. You should have stopped it. I <laughs> Leave Phil alone. All right, let's finish her up. Beautiful day, and again, a beautiful time on the course at West Richland Golf Course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having us here, and again, stop by. This is a great venue. Uh, it's been here Oh man, as long as I know, and great golf professionals. And uh, again, they're firing up their junior program. Come and at least check out the clubhouse. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week Yep. at another great venue. And I got a par this week. Let's try and get a birdie before we're done. You're doing, deal. <laughs>